hey, good morning, team. Happy Sunday, happy time change day. Kind of caught me off guard a little bit this morning. I'm running to an early service, and we've got an in-home meeting today at 11 o'clock. So we're getting the house ready. The girls are going to watch uh, online this morning. We've got an in-home meeting at 11 Arizona's cranking today, guys, 3 p.m. Eastern. If you have not got your ticket, I'm going to highly recommend that you invest in, into you, pour into you, and get on the live stream today and learn from those top end converters. There are so many attending. It's, it's, I can't even name them all. Uh, but I know Nina was there, and yesterday we did a real quick training. She did something from her hotel room, and it was powerful. Uh, one of the things we spoke about and we talked about um, from a post I made on Facebook was real simple. And it was the unknown significant, you know, you look at your business, what is significant in your business, but it's unknown. It's it, There's no glory in it, right? So let me explain. I made the post about my daughter, who's an amazing basketball player, just won um, a regional final to go to state, two years in a row now going to the state. Final Four, which is awesome. But, you know, one of her strengths that she doesn't get much glory until this last game she did. But my point, though, is that free throws are not glory. It's like when you look at basketball, I love the sport, you know, a deep three, um, you know, look at the NBA, a slam dunk. I mean, it's a, it, there's so much glory in certain shots. But where championships are won are typically with the unknown significant activity. So I want you to think of your business today and I want you to think of the unknown significant activities that you may be doing, but maybe you're not doing enough. Okay. So like today we have an in-home meeting at 11 a.m. They're not glory. You know, you might have five people, you might have 15 people, but in-home meetings make serious money. Okay. Three-way calls, another unknown significant activity. It's, they're, they're not glorified. You don't get praised when you do a three-way late at night or early morning or in the middle of the afternoon or multiple three-ways. But those little activities, the unknown significant activities, what they do is they compound over time to help you crush it. So my challenge for you today, and we spoke about this yesterday, but I wanna, I wanna relay this message to you. It's Sunday, okay? And we've got week one ending Tuesday at midnight. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I do everything by weeks. Week one, two, three, and four, every single month. Last month was a shorter month. This month, you have literally four weeks and three bonus days, if you look at it. So you look at a working week. I end the first week Tuesday at midnight. Brandy and I talk about it every day. What is the BV? What is the structure? Who's working for what? What are we working for? And we set those those little benchmarks. And so Tuesday at midnight, we're trying to hit those goals. So today being Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we've got three full days to end the first full week of the month, okay? So what are the unknown significant activities that you might need to do more of? Let's just look at it that way. A lot of times we feel like we're not doing the right things or we're not doing something enough. And, and that's really the case. You know, it's, it's not so much you're doing the wrong activity, you're just not doing some activities enough. Like if you do one three-way a month, I mean, you might get a result. But if you want big results for your business, you should be conducting three-way calls throughout the week, you know, sometimes daily. You know, tonight we've got, and there's always great calls. I mean, I'm not gonna pick and choose days and times, but. I can tell you that tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, How to Make Money with Coffee, which tonight's gonna feature Jennifer Nivens and Brandy, uh, how powerful is that? What if you had five people on that unknown significant activity, which is a Zoom, it's gonna be on a live, you know, Facebook Live. It's an unknown significant activity. So if there's three, four, five different events going on throughout the week, and you're starting to compound the activity of tagging not just your teams, but tagging prospects, think of the compounding effect that's gonna come. So my challenge for you today on this Sunday, okay, with the time change and whatever your plans are today, hopefully it's 
it's more, you know, family and, and things that you need to do to set the stage for the week. But I want you to think about what activities are you not doing enough of? If you're not doing in-home meetings, set one up. They don't have to be perfect. Too many times we feel like, oh my gosh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. No, you don't. Get five, six, seven people at your house. Make it, make it last minute. It will blow you away at the little things that we do. That means so much. There might not be glory in that in-home meeting. There might not be glory in that three-way call. There might not be glory in that. Let's look through my my phone contacts, my Facebook Messenger, and let's see who I need to follow up on. See, nobody's watching you do that. There's no recognition in what you do in the dark. Everything comes out in the light. And that light is when you're on that stage. That light is when you get your prelims and you're like, boom. I want you to let this sink in today. The unknown significant. Okay? There's no glory in that free throw, but it wins championships. One free throw can win a championship. That one in-home meeting you do could change the course of your business forever. That one three-way call you do, that one follow-up message or phone call that you make can change the course of your business. So I want you to let this sink in today. Challenge yourself to identify those unknown significant activities and crush it.